Hello. Hi. We're live. Again. Yay. Okay. Rita's going to talk. Yes. I'm so going to do stuff. Still working on my very slow going red blanket for myself. Small st stitch, so it's going to take me forever. Are you following a pattern? Not completely, no. More than I've ever followed this pattern. Can you put it that way? Progress. Not perfection, progress. Perfection. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're no. distracting me. Um, we are just going to... So if you come on, say hi to us so we know that you're here. I'm just going to take some stuff and we're going to adjust some things and then we'll get started. <clears throat> what to talk about? Um, How are you doing today? Good. I'm doing really good. You look really good in your glasses. Thank you. It's not really completely necessary, but it helps. Well, I, I appreciate that you were trying to support me, but like by wearing, because I hate my glasses a lot. Um, but I need them, like I can't see anything. So if I'm going like this, it's not because I'm mad at you. You should put one of those, you know, electronic things so you could use your phone to find your glasses. But what if I lose my phone? With your glasses. With my glasses, which happens a lot. Well, you put it in one in your phone and you'll lose your computer. But if I lose my computer? <laughs> yeah, if you lose your computer, you have bigger problems. I do have bigger problems. I have massive problems. Okay, let me just make sure this is working. There we are. Okay. Um, We're not ignoring. Is anybody on yet? I don't, I don't know. Think so. We'll just talk to ourselves. We talk to ourselves all the time anyway. Mm -hmm. Say hi if you come on and see us because we need encouragement and love. Uh, Smashly and friends. Okay. I think that we're good. Just We are love. We are love. <laughs> we are love. That was perfect. That was awesome. We are love. Okay. Um We are love and light. Totally. Totally. Okay. I think that's it. What about okay. Them? Oh yeah. I should take people. Okay. Ah, the moms first, because moms like to watch. How are you there? Oh. Hi, <laughs> Savannah. Hi. Hi. And my hubby. Mwah. Thanks for the support, baby. Oh, I'm like, that's confusing. <laughs> okay. Um, who else? Oh, my mom. And I had to take Michelle. Is that the right Michelle? Yes, it was. Was it? It just didn't look like her. Michelle. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to switch, switch over here. Hi! Um... <laughs> Alright, we are ready. So what, did you talk about what you were working on? Yes, my blanket from last week. Same old big And blanket. how long has this thing been on the go for? Um, probably over a year. It's just my go-to. Um, when my hubby's watching hockey, then it's something I that can't I watch can... can't well, <laughs> <That's laughs> I can snuggle and I don't have to get bored because I'm doing something else. So, so I have a confession to make. Oh, confession on Smashly. I haven't knit in like three days. I know! Are you going through withdrawals yet? A little bit. I've just been like doing other stuff. But I have to say, it's. Hi, Mom! It's depressing when you don't. Like, I didn't realize that I wasn't knitting, and then I was like, wait, something's missing from my life. Something big. Something that I normally do. And so, yeah. 
I haven't made any progress. I put it back on the stitches, or on the needles from last week, because I screwed up. No, Xander pulled it out, you said. Whatever. Yeah. He did, probably, yeah. Um, so, I only have this much left. And the pattern for this is actually going to be released on the Laughing Hens blog pretty soon. So, Exciting it's stuff. not using this exact yarn, it's using something else, but it's the same idea, and it's pretty awesome, I just have to say. It is. Because I made it. Well, if you think back to when you started the knitting group, hmm. would you ever believed you'd gotten this far and be so talented in what you do? No. I actually thought I would have given up by now. <laughs> right? Like... I have the same. I'm doing schooling right now for accounting, mm -hmm. and I honestly didn't have that much faith that I would complete it. It was just an idea, and I went with it, and through all kinds of problems, I've mm -hmm. seemed to stick with it and not be able to put it down, so I feel you there. Yeah. This is going on, I think, like my eight eight years knitting or nine years something yeah. like that so clearly I'm not giving up anytime soon well it's hard to re remember time you weren't knitting now it's true because I knit right before I got married to your annoying brother yes and you chose that though I chose him for you that's really the reason Aww. And your parents, because they're watching. I chose them, too. <laughs> it was his family he married, not him. <laughs> yeah. He has his good points, I'm not going to lie, but I'm not going to get into that here. <laughs> anyway. He won't watch it anyway. <laughs> Alright, so, today I figured Rita doesn't know a lot about knitting. What she knows is because I force it upon her. Or because I get stuck and then you're like, well, did you read the pattern? So that's what we're talking about today for a little bit, <clears throat> is why you need to follow a pattern and not be like Rita. You need to be like me. <laughs> so as an example to teach this, I'm going to be using my knitted tutu pattern. I don't know if you guys can see that really well, but... I can hold it up. There. <laughs> that's Lexi. <laughs> as a baby and it's named after her and it was the first thing I ever really designed not the first thing I designed like a little um, logo thing first but this was the first actual pattern and it kind of just like came to me and I was like I wonder if I can do that and I did and so this is actually still today my most popular pattern I've actually knitted this one the one pattern I followed was this one. Because if she's going to knit a pattern and I'm going to give her the PDF to the pattern, then she better be following it to the T. Yeah, I actually knitted one for Savannah when she was a baby. Lexi had one, and, and I made her take pictures of this, and she was actually, the reason she's faced the other way is because she was not happy with me. Because at that time, she didn't wear dresses. She was really angry that I put her in a skirt. <laughs> but now she has one, and she, she likes it. She wears it all the time. It's a different one, though, but yeah. It's a pretty fun pattern, and it uses this yarn, um, what is it called, ruffle yarn or something? Yeah. Anyway, you can find it in Michaels. So I'm just going to go through what a pattern actually is and why you need to pay attention to the first part of the page and not disregard it like some people, whose names we will not mention. Start with R. <laughs> and ends in uh. <laughs> uh. Ida. <laughs> anyway, okay. So... Usually a pattern, not all patterns are like this because it depends on the designer or the publication or the magazine or whatever, but there's kind of a basis that designers are supposed to go by. Some people are defiant. Like me. But designer-wise, the idea <clears throat> if you're a knitting designer is to basically write a pattern to explain what you're trying to make and you need to follow the yarn standards that they have put out there. Is usually what you're supposed to do. Some people don't do that. Um, I do though. So usually what you'll find, so you should find like a picture of whatever you're making um, and you'll find like obviously who the designer is 
um, and kind of just a, there's usually a paragraph that's like a brief overview. Um, and you will see, now, see, I wish this was the mark. You see where it says right here? This is how you determine your skill level for the pattern. So mine says easy, which basically means you need your basic knitting skills, like knitting and purling. Um, but this one isn't rated a beginner because it's rated a level up because you need to be able to knit in the round and that usually isn't taught first, right? So that's why it's usually rated easy. It's up to the designer what they rate it, whether they rate it beginner or all the way up to advanced. Um, but it goes beginner. Um, sometimes there's beginner plus, um, but that's not really used that often. Easy, intermediate, and then advanced. So advanced would be like your lace stitches um, or sweater sometimes is advanced, but so that's what you want to look for and it's kind of like a scale basically um, and then you'll find something called gauge and a lot of people skip this and I'm not gonna lie I actually skipped it too for a while but it's uh, incredibly important to follow and base yeah and that's gonna stop <laughs> but so gauge is basically what I've put here is 18 stitches um, by 24 rows equals 4 inches so what that means is you'll basically be knitting a square. I should have made one, but, but he, actually, hold on. Talk to Rita for a minute. So, my biggest problems with not falling, I mean, I come up with some pretty creative stuff. However, I don't that. get the product that I want. And exactly, that's why, yes. That's my motivation to go and stop doing it altogether. Also, she doesn't like it when I yell at her. No. Anyway, <laughs> this is a a sam this is for Knitting University, but this is kind of a sample of what a gauge swatch would look like. This is not four inches, um, but it like what you would knit would be four inches. So you cast on your needles or cast on using whatever it says. So here it says worked using smaller needles, worsted weight yarn, and uh, two by two ribbing. So what that means is I've put in this pattern that you're using two sizes of needles for whatever part of the pattern that you're working. So the first part of the pattern is a ribbing, which is the waistband. Yes, the waistband. So that part is where your gauge matters. So you're going to be using the needle suggested for that um, section, which is, I believe, a four millimeter. So you would use your four millimeters and you would cast on um, a little bit more than 18 stitches because you want to be able to measure it. You want edges and as you can see it kind of like curls and it's it's not great. So you would, I would say cast on maybe like an extra four stitches or something like that, kind of two on each side. Um, and then you would knit for 24 rows. You'd knit back and you would be using two by two ribbing. So you would do knit two, purl two, um, following the pattern that is in the, in my pattern, the knitting two two pattern. Um, and in doing that, once you reach, I would go a little bit more than 24 rows, so maybe, maybe go upwards of 30, um, just because you want to make your gauge swatch a little bit bigger, so that when you measure, and you want to measure using um, a straight ruler, if you have one, and you don't want to measure on your lap, you want to measure on a flat surface, so like a table or the floor or something, because putting it on your lap will actually manipulate your measurements, oddly enough. So you put it <clears throat> on the table and you measure and you would count. So I'm just going to use this Sharpie to show you. But <clears throat> you would then count each stitches. So you would go, okay, it's going to be hard to see. But so you would count one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever, right? Up until 24 or up until you see that your ruler is at four inches. And that will determine what your gauge is. And in an ideal world, if you're using the proper um, needles and you knit perfectly, then you will have 18 stitches within that four, um, four inches. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? So the purpose, I might have missed this, but the purpose of a gauge mm -hmm. is to know how tight you're going on your needles or if you're using the right yarn or... What is the purpose? The for your purpose gauge? is it is that the pattern when I write the pattern and I kind of it's called grading. So when I'm figuring out the math because knitting is basically math, I'm figuring out the sizes and all that. It is all based on my gauge swatch. 
So I'm measuring and then I'm determining, okay, there's so many stitches per inch and I need to make the circumference of this dress or, or um, skirt, I need to make it 16 inches. So if you want yours to be 16 inches, you need to make sure that you've matched gauge. Does that make sense? So if your gauge is off, so let's say you're getting 34. 34, you need to go down significantly on your needle sizes. And so the needle sizes that I've put in here are what I use to get my gauge swatch and it's what the recommended sizes are, but all of us knit differently, yeah. right? And it also depends on like if you're stressed out or if you're relaxed or what your tension is, right? <laughs> if you're on the needles. Tension on the needles. So if you end up with a bigger gauge swatch, you need to go down needle sizes until you get that 18 inches. Um, and if it's too small, if you're finding that you're having like 14 inches or 14 stitches, then you need to go up. So you just, you, needle sizes are able to be adjusted depending on um, where your gauge swatch is at. But you want to make sure that before you continue, you find, you, you get gauge. And that's why it's so important because you could just say, oh, screw it. And I'm going to, you know, use these size six needles and you won't knit the same as me and then you'll be like why am I not why is this too big or why yeah. is this too small and then you're gonna be frustrated so that's why I always recommend always do gauge always 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 um, and I know it's a pain in the butt because you want when you get a new pattern you totally want to be like I just want to start right now and you, can, you can't do that don't do that um, so and also I kind of mentioned this in one of my other videos you see where it says four and six, that's um, the type of yarn you'll be using. So you, in this pattern, you're using two types of yarn. One is called, um, one is a medium worsted weight yarn, and one is a super bulky yarn. And so that's just kind of when you're shopping, and you can substitute um, certain yarns. It doesn't have to be the yarn that I've suggested, but you need to make sure whatever yarn you're using you get age, gauge, age, <laughs> you get gauge, and you need to be doing, um, you need to make sure that it's a four and a six is what you have. Um, except for this pattern, that's not a great example because you're not going to get the ruffle effect unless you use the ruffle yarn. <laughs> um, so also you'll see basic information. So for this pattern, I have written down the ages. So a lot of people when they're knitting for whoever they kind of base their, their kids' sizes, on their age. age. Yeah. So like this one goes from zero to six months to six years. Um, and then you will see that it is written, that you'll have one size kind of written there and the rest will be in brackets. And what that means is it'll say zero to six months and then there'll be a bracket and it'll say 12 to 24 months, comma, two to three years, comma, up all the way up to six years. And so when you're reading the pattern, you'll actually see in there, that's how you determine what size. So if yours is the first one in the bracket, that's the size you're going to be using. And I highly recommend that you go through the pattern before and you highlight. Or circle or whatever. Um, and then also you will see that it says like sizing. So weight circumference um, is 16 to 18 inches. Um, and then I also have kind of like what your skirt length would be. So it would be like for the first one is seven inches. Um, and then you go into supplies needed. So I have listed two different colors. Color A says you'll need one ball and it lists what the yarn is. The color B would be another ball of yarn, Red Heart Super Saver. And color C is scrap yarn. So that scrap yarn just means just a little bit of yarn because you're basically using it to make a tie to, what's it called? A drawstring. Drawstring, thank you. <laughs> Um, and then it lists, like I said, the needles, um, and it will say actually in here, U.S. size 6, 4 millimeters, 13, 16 inch circular needles or size needed to obtain gauge. So it says it right in there. So it's only recommended needle sizes, but definitely check gauge. Um, and then just basic stuff, stitch marker um, and a blunt and yarn needle. Um, and as you're reading patterns, and I'll get more into this when I release my pattern course, but you have abbreviations usually at the top. I don't know if you guys can see that. Abbreviations. And that's for basically when you read the pattern because it's like a different language. 
and mine just says k equals knit k2 tog knit two stitches together and that's kind of like your legend i guess because yeah. it's kind of like code Cro crochet much worse because they have the double half and crochet, crochet i've found is actually there's a lot more stitches first of all yeah. but what is determined like what is a double crochet in canada is not the same as in the uk really it's extreme i think it's double crochet but it depends on where the pattern's written and it becomes really difficult because you're like that's not that stitch right so you've got to kind of that's why team knitting all the way for you <laughs> yes well oh and you <coughs> should be in a pattern if the person who's writing it is super smart they will have all their information on how to um, reach them if you have like a problem and I always recommend before you go blasting designers online that oh this pattern doesn't work that you reach out to them because chances are you're just not under they're not able to um, communicate. communicate like properly <laughs> or how you would learn right so always reach out to the designer first and usually they have email and their social media on there because they usually offer pretty good pattern support most knitters are pretty nice I think they're calm <laughs> right? Very calm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you have any questions? No. Did okay. that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. It's mostly when you get into the pattern and they get really abbreviated because, I don't know, when it piles up. Do you know what I yeah. mean? Like when they're using too much. I mean, I've never had a problem with your patterns. That's because you have access to me 24-7. <laughs> But I've never really called you, like even the hats that I've knitted and mm -hmm. such, I've never really called you to say, hey. What does that mean? What does that mean? Could be partially the yelling, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what we have to say about patterns. Um, if anyone has any questions about that or anything knitted related or you want to know about. Or us related. Us related. <laughs> Feel free to type in the comments and say hi if you're here because we, we like love. And we love to talk to you guys. Mm -hmm. I am just going to check something real quick because my phone keeps walking. Hmm. Ooh, okay. While we wait for people to ask questions, I'm going to go grab my knitting mistakes. Okay. Oh, this is <laughs> awesome. I'm so excited. Yeah, that. So this is actually what you would use to measure gauge. Um, this is actually a needle sizer, and I've actually been in a hardware store and seen that they have one of these for like um, nails. Nails, and I was like, why is there knitting supplies in the hardware store? But it's not. It's something totally different. <laughs> but yeah, you'll see. It says this is super dirty, but it'll. It's like a ruler, right? So you would actually. I have probably about four of those, just because. Every awesome. time you buy like a package of um, crochet hooks, they come like that. Um, knitting needles, a package when you get like just a big. If you package. order a lot of yarn from this wool time place, they send you these for free, <laughs> or they used to. I don't know. I have a bunch of them. <laughs> but some of them will also have like a little um, cutout. Like there won't be these needle sizes. It'll just be like a cutout, and it'll actually measure four inches. And so you'll put that down on your knitting, and it'll you'll be able to count easier. So if you can find one of those, that's pretty awesome. All right, who wants to see the knitting mistake? I don't know if I've ever showed you this. Yes, you did. Did I explain who it was knit for? Yes, I th I'm pretty sure. Okay, so this was knit. Um, Lexi was just born. It was for Christmas that year because I was a crazy person and decided to knit all my Christmas presents with a newborn baby. It didn't work out. I still owe people things. <laughs> like, however many years later. <laughs> but so I was trying to knit my first sock. And I was pretty good at knitting at the time, I think. Um, but this is a really good example of what happens when you don't follow gauge. <laughs> because I don't have an actual proper knitted sock here. Because I just, I don't knit anything for myself. But, so I don't have one to show as comparison. But this is Ashley's first knitted sock. Are you ready? Move it back. 
fit it like, in. Like, look at this. It's like... <laughs> and she has a big head. It, yeah. <laughs> but so this sock was knit for your mother. <laughs> it was... Wait, I remembered something different. It was for Alex, I thought. No. It was knitted these colors because it was supposed to match Joe Bro's hair. Oh. And she didn't want wool, be so it's knit with a softer wool, so it wouldn't itch her feet. And you never gave it to her. <laughs> I was so, I, at what point, here's what I want to know, at what point was I knitting this and going, this will fit? <laughs> I finished the whole sock. One sock. <laughs> one sock. There is no, there, one foot of hers will be one. Maybe Mom, she could, laughing. maybe she could like fit both her feet in there and be like a, a sock onesie. A mono sock. A mono sock. <laughs> but yeah, so... I was so mad that I didn't even weave in my ends because I was like, how is this thing so big? But also, how did I not, did I think, like, at what point did I go, hmm, this might not fit. And it's not just that. I, like, picked up my stitches in the wrong direction, and there's, it's a hot mess. Use it for a stocking for Christmas. <laughs> This is officially your mom's stocking. Nice. Yes. It can stretch too, so. Oh, it, I mean, for real? Like. <laughs> <laughs> Good stocking, mom? What do you think? Or both feet in there, see? Great minds. Well, and if you put both feet in there, then they could warm up. So, but, uh, on really, cold it could winter be nights. your mom's feet and your dad's feet. Probably. probably. <laughs> like, it's pretty huge. <coughs> so this is proof that if you suck at knitting I don't have proof actually one of my friends has proof um, I don't think she's going to be on here but um, I it was one of my first friends I lived in Calgary and she was having a baby and it's actually this pattern but doesn't look like it at all and I did it in her colors how big was the blanket? Well, you know my blanket <laughs> Um, I'm going to say probably for a baby blanket, it was probably like six by three or a six by four, something. It's feet, feet, <laughs> feet, feet. She still has a, God bless her heart, but this thing is huge. It's ginormous and it's. Did you follow the pattern? No, not at all. See, this is what happens, people, when you don't follow patterns properly. I have always taken patterns as suggestions. They are not suggestions. This is what happens when you... <laughs> when you... Don't follow patterns. Don't follow patterns. And then, the funny thing is, is that, you know, like a year ago, like I said, I started this. I did a larger gauge one from the pattern. As I remember I said, having this conversation, actually. <laughs> when you saw the Savannah's blanket. Um... So I did, and when I did her blanket, I'm like, oh, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of like a, um, a, a bubble pattern, like a bubbly. It's very textured. Yeah. So, and they don't have really close up pictures of the pattern itself in the book. But when I did the first one of these, it was pink and, and cream colored. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh. These are supposed to line up. The bubbles are supposed to line up. <laughs> so it kind of looks like a grid pattern, but I didn't know that. And I've done this pattern many times before. Because what Not happened pattern, is you apparently. basically told your, you kind of like looked over the pattern briefly. You pay, didn't pay attention to the beginning. Anything. 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 And even needle si or like hook size, I'm pretty sure. Probably not. And you kind of just went, you know what? I'm just going to wing it. And... This is fun. Yeah. And I can sit and watch TV and crochet. But and... you had the pattern, a, a version of the pattern formed in your mind. And that's what you were basically going off of. And if you want it to look like the pictures that are in the actual written pattern, you have to follow the pattern. That's not to say that there isn't mistakes in patterns, because there is. However, that's when I suggest that you always go and... Um, contact the designer or you can also go on Ravelry and if you're not on there and you're a knitter you need to be on there it's Ravelry.com go sign up it's better than Facebook <laughs> um, it's basically a knitting and yarn database of the world 
it's the best thing ever. Um, but where was I going with this? Pattern and contact the... Oh, contact the designer, look for support, and sometimes they will have um, a link that will say, oh, there was an error in the pattern, here's the updated pattern. Yeah, and I mean, everybody learns differently. You might read something differently. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, especially when you get complicated yes. and interesting, like the cooler things might be more complicated and you might be the only person who picked it up a different way. Mm -hmm. Give that designer a chance by contacting them to, so they can let you explain it. Um, the other thing is I highly suggest if you don't speak certain languages, don't download patterns in those languages. That'll be, it's almost like I download stuff in French, like. No, I, well, the, um, <laughs> if anyone who's been following my page for a long time, I knit these Fair Isle socks, right? And they, they've been around the internet for, last year there was like, it went kind of viral with um, people posting the original pattern, and Ashley, can you make this, and whatever, and it was awesome. But the pattern was in Finnish. And so I kind of had to translate it. Google Translate. Google Translate. I did find a translated copy of it in English, but it wasn't 100% accurate. So do not download a pattern in another language thinking you can translate it unless you know what you're doing. Unless you know the language. Or if you know the language. And, and here's the thing. That's where I was talking about, like, UK is different than Canada or the US. Um, and like other countries like that are big on knitting like Holland and Sweden and stuff their pattern languages like their language is different but when they write in English um what would be like a knit stitch or how they would write some something like their abbreviation would be different so it's just something to keep mindful of definitely so on that note should I announce my thing it has to do with patterns. <clears throat> um, so, I like I said, I've made the Lexi Knitting Tutu pattern. It is my popular, most popular pattern to date, I think. It has like something like 168 hearts. Hearts mean you love something on Ravelry. And it's been, I mean, most days I have someone that at least downloads it. That's awesome. Um, but it's a super fun pattern. It's actually not that difficult, but you end up with a really beautiful product. Actually, yeah, I found that it was a really easy, I'm not even in the shop. <laughs> You're like sneaking more that way. I'm not trying I'm to. Pushing you. No. Um, um, no, I've done this pattern and... If like, Rita can learn it, and I can teach Rita. I am Ashley's test knitter. How can somebody mess up a pattern of hers? <laughs> but if you do, and you need help, you better be contacting me because I can help you. Anyway. So normally what you do when you get my patterns is you would just go to Etsy or Ravelry and you would get, um, pay the $5 Canadian that it is and you would get an instant download of it and you just go and you knit it. And sometimes people will download these patterns and then, you know, I don't know how many knitted tutus are out there, <laughs> right? I don't know. But what I'm doing is I'm opening up what is called the ultimate pattern experience. So... For $10 Canadian, you can contact me and I'll put you in a private Facebook group and you will get an instant download of my pattern, plus all future updates to that pattern because sometimes I tweak it or add more sizes. And uh, <laughs> my kid just fell off a bed, I think, or something. <laughs> anyway. Um, the joy of motherhood. The joy of motherhood. And I lost my train of thought. Cheese Rita. Anyway, so there'll be a, a Facebook group for the pattern where I will be knitting along with you guys. So I will be knitting my own pattern. You guys will be knitting the pattern with me. We're going to go step by step. I'm going to explain any tricky parts. Um, and you just get, you get your one-on-one -on -one support with me. And all it is is an extra $5 to get in the group. So instead of paying $5 Canadian for the pattern, you pay 10 and you get this basically a teacher. Personalized support. Personalized support. So if you think that you want to knit the Lexi Knitted Tutu pattern with me, um, you just have to send the page a message and I will get you in the group. Rita will be in the group. I will be in the group. 
just to just so nobody feels like they are I don't know the worst knitter I'll be there to make sure everybody's like wow I'm at least better than her mm -hmm. <laughs> yep and uh yeah and I mean there'll be pictures like the idea is is that people are going to be posting pictures, progress pictures of their knitted tutus, so you can kind of see where you're at versus them, and then I can troubleshoot. So if I go, hey, I think you didn't check gauge, might be something you need to do, Rita. Then and I'll be keeping her on her toes. <laughs> mm -hmm. So definitely, if you would like to be in the ultimate pattern experience, send me a message, and it will be, it'll be awesome. It'll be a good time. It's basically a knit along. Smashley's first knit along. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So, yeah, if there's any questions, feel free to ask us. Otherwise, I think Rita has to go get home to her baby. Hi, Savannah. One more time. Notice how my kids aren't watching. They're just like... <laughs> it's probably better because my brother's with them. So there would be a lot more... I'm, gl I'm really glad he's not like... Yeah, he knew something. Hi. She says hi. Yeah. Well, like, kind of weird. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go now. Thank you for joining us for Smashly TV. We'll be back again next week. More shenanigans. And I'm going to, I have a whole, like, three bins of knitting mistakes. I'm going to bring them out. Not the whole, not all, not all the bins, but, like. I'm wondering if I can find some knitting mistakes. Mostly I just chuck it. Um, I have half, I have a ton of half-finished products. Mm -hmm. I have about this much. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> Thanks, baby, for being wonderful and watching her. Um, but I have, like, the granny squares, a whole bunch. Not enough to make a blanket, but a whole bunch. So that way... Enough that you got bored. No, I lost the pattern. Because there was so much time between when I was doing them and when See, I picked them up again. You should just download your patterns. This was in a book like you know those crocheting and knitting books from like the 1980s that are awesome yeah those ones yeah <sighs> did vicky i show you us. hi vicky oh hi vicky did i show you my 1980s knitting book of sweaters did i show it to you i don't know okay stay right there <laughs> this ought to be interesting i probably can't find it now hi savannah Okay, for real? Look at this. Okay. Oh. For real. Like. I think you posted pictures I did, because this is Let's so look at this. Let's look at this. Awesome. It is the best. Look okay. at the picture. <laughs> I still want to see Mr. Smashley in some uh, fantastic knitted shorts. With suspenders. Only if we can do the same for Jason, because that's going to be a mentally disturbing image. Honey, of... would you wear knitted shorts? We'll see if he responds to that. Okay, but like, really? This? So the reason I bought this is because I'm knitting this, where is it? This banana sweater? <laughs> okay, and here's the question of the day that someone pointed out. Why is he holding a pineapple? Yeah. Right? If it's a banana sweater, shouldn't we be holding a banana? Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway. But, and then you can also do this strawberry sweater. Hot pink. Okay, Jay. That's okay, Vicky. I still love you. She has really so, bad in So let me get this straight. If we knitted you hot pink shorts, knitted shorts, you would model them on... Smashly Would you, Jay? Yes, I love that book. You're going to get a sweater out of this book. Fruit Vicky. cocktail. He's not answering properly. <laughs> Probably because he's laughing. He's like, how, why am I on here? Why? Oh, what's that one? I am a luxury. Few can afford. You, that's you. It is actually, I kind of feel like I would knit mine. I'll just but show with this. a v-neck, a nice deep v-neck. This is the thing, okay? And this is the back, right? you can afford okay and you you definitely need like a that's not a parrot it's like a cockatoo it's pink that's really cool i never know what's that and you need pink pants too but i need to do this but i would do it in opposite colors like i would do like hot pink 
And then gray. And, and then gray and white writing because that's how Ashley rolls. And there's the banana sweater. But like, look at that. You know what? You know what we... Like, I would like to know if our audience would like to do like an 80s themed live show. Are you going to do my makeup and my hair? Yes. Oh, yes. My husband says, LOL, yes, I would if you would knit me a sweater. sweater. Who's supposed to knit the sweater? I think he's looking to you, not to me. Okay, I'll knit you a sweater, Jay. He, I, don't I owe him a sweater? I think you might. I have a really long list of things I'm supposed to knit people, and it doesn't. Maybe, right. I, maybe you should teach me to knit a sweater. Maybe we'll, that's what we could do next week. Start me on a sweater. Start you on a sweater. One of these sweaters. Jason, do you want one of these ones? He should have. Hold on. He says, yes, you do. You do owe him a lot. I think it's him you promised a whole bunch to. Sorry, Jay. She'll start teaching me that may we. We should knit Jay this sweater. <gasps> and he needs to do this face. Jay, this no. is what we're... Okay? That's the sweater we're knitting you. See, if the more people talk to us, the more we can... Mm -hmm. Who votes that my husband should have hockey Xander shirts? wanted this. <laughs> well, I told him that he was going to get a robot sweater. But he's like, no, I don't want a dress. Because <clears throat> he thinks it's a dress. But... Yeah. What is with that? She has really long fingernails. And fingers. Yes. And that 80s hair. But yes, so what were the, the 80s theme night? Okay. You can... Eyeshadow and big hair. Oilers. Really? You want Edmonton Oilers sweater. Why are you not a Flames fan? He's not. <laughs> but what... Uh, he's confusing. Um, so... Let's see how many shares. How many shares do we need? Or likes. You have to give us lots of love or we are not doing 80s hair. Well, 80s we... hair. 80s big, makeup. Big. The dome. I will do Do you know the how dome. to make my hair like that? I could, yes. Thanks to my wonderful mom. I do know how to make <laughs> that. <laughs> She's awesome like, with hair. Crazy eyeshadow, right? And, oh, your mom really wants us to do this. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, crazy eyeshadow. And... We'll have to knit some, like, leg warmers. Maybe that's what we'll be knitting that day. Leg warmers? In hot pink. Hot pink. So, yeah. Like, we love doing this live. I don't know about you, but I really enjoy sitting down. I hate being in front of camera, but I enjoy doing this. So, if you guys want to see some funny stuff, let's goof, make, or goof out of ourselves. Tell us. We're dorks. Tell us some remember, funny ideas. Remember the Facebook last week where we were being dorks we can be worse dorks than that totally give us some topics we will incorporate knitting with it so yeah knitting i can relate knitting to anything um yeah we should we should see how many people would share this and maybe if you we'll go, want us to go knitting how 80s many, theme how many shares do we need to get i don't know has to be a triple number a triple number well or like repeating numbers 22 44. 44? So 44 shares. 44 shares, and we will do 80s things. We'll go out and get all the makeup. Do you have bright eyeshadow? No, I have all earth tones and very soft ones. But I can, we can I get it. I think we need to go shopping. <laughs> yes. Yes, we do. Yay, we're going shopping. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, yeah. I mean, 80s is kind of still back, right? Like, there's got to be bright colors out there. Well, and we can do, like, the side ponytails. Oh, I want a side pony. You could do it. For I sure, could. side No, pony. no, that's not where the side ponies. Right. Side ponies, like, right up there. <laughs> Headbands. Headbands. Leggings. I can rock leggings. Yeah, but leggings are in. It's the awful colored leggings. I'll find some offered colored leggings. Seriously, have you seen my universe pants? <laughs> Those are actually nice. I like them. My mommy's here now, and I was just going to leave. So, oops. Sorry, I'll talk to my mom for a bit. Hi, Mom. <laughs> I won't abandon you yet. 
Um, What's up, Mom? What are you doing? All you have to do is just like... Becoming a person I love you. <laughs> love you too. You have, oh, I was going to say, you have to type. Rainbow leggings. Yes. That would be fun. I need to find some rainbow leggings. They got to be out there somewhere. Just leggings. Or even just hot, hot pink. Like, I, can I just wear all pink? Don't forget the shoulder pads. <gasps> oh, nice. Nice, Mom. Where would you even find shoulder pads? You're shopping. Oh. Thank you for joining us. Yes, yeah, thank you. We love the support. Um, um, yeah, where do you find shoulder pads? Does your mom have shoulder pads? We could probably around? find a secondhand store buy a bunch of shirts with shoulder pads. You do know we live in the middle of nowhere, right? Fernie has a, second, has a Salvation Army. <gasps> we should go there and get the raddest then 80s outfits. I've never been in there. And make whatever we can buy. <laughs> where is it? It's right on the like main street. Not the highway, but the okay. Anyways, don't know what we're sorry. About. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. eBay. eBay. Your mom says eBay. No, that was that's Jay. Oh, Jay. eBay. Yeah. Are you gonna go to the states and pick it up so that we can get it here fast? He already has stuff. He's always going to the states. Someone has not yet been to the states. I'll check my sewing room. <gasps> nice. If you do, we're gonna pay for you to express post us shoulder pads. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can knit some. Those are kind of hard. You could pick... I have those, like, what are they called? To make your boobs bigger? Those, like, like things? The... I could put them, like, here. Cutlets? <laughs> Cutlets, yeah. <laughs> those could be my shoulder pads. <laughs> Second half. Jay's giving us instructions now. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's... You that's know cool. what? I think it's across from Overwitty. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, anyway. We're just getting off topic now. But who's going to drive? <laughs> <laughs> Jay, <laughs> you're gonna have to drive us. Train. You're you're good. You're a good driver in Fernie. On a highway. Maybe maybe through like, Fernie. Yeah, but yeah. Jason, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna have to drive you guys. <laughs> he's so supportive. No, but you can sew up some, some not hard at all. Okay, who has so? Oh, you have sewing skills. Yes, I just don't have sewing some of time. Us cannot sew at all. I only knit. That is my only skill in life. <laughs> okay. No, it isn't. You're a great mom. Will you stop doing this to me on Facebook Live? <laughs> she is, and we all know it, but she doesn't like to admit to it. I like sleeping, and my children don't let me sleep. Yeah, but that doesn't make you a bad mom. No, it just makes me a grumpy, tired mom. Yeah, but you're more patient than most, sweetie. You compare yourself too much to... Stop. Um, unrealistic <laughs> Stop, or I'm going to make you cry one day on Facebook. <laughs> it's okay. I don't mind. I'll tear up. Whatever. Okay. You want me to do it now? No. <laughs> no, I don't. This is getting really weird. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. We should go now because I'm pretty sure Savannah misses you and Alex hates being locked upstairs. So, is that a reason to go or to stay on? <laughs> I'm hungry. Okay. So, we got it. Oh, it's fun. Give us ideas. Yes, and if you want 80s night, give us likes and shares. and Get give. your friends to share us. We promise it'll be awesome because Rita's really good at makeup. and Or I should just do my own makeup and see what the hell happens. I can do scary makeup too. Anyway. So, 80s themed. And if you want to be in on the ultimate pattern experience for my knitted tutu, send me a message so I can get you in the group where me and Rita will be Being knitting again. tutus. Yeah. Cool, okay? So thanks for joining us. We love you all. Love you. Bye. Bye.